White holes are curious mathematical opposites of black holes. Not long ago, people thought white holes were just made-up ideas from sci-fi stories. These were strange objects that were only imagined in our wildest dreams. But recently, scientists have made an incredible breakthrough. They've found some clues that make it seem like white holes might actually be real things in our universe. It's like discovering a whole new world of possibilities. This amazing finding has set off a frenzy of excitement among astronomers and cosmologists all over the globe. Everyone's eager to explore and understand these mysterious entities. But what exactly are white holes? And how would they affect our place in the vast expanse of the universe? Join us as we uncover how scientists have now discovered the first ever white hole in the history of our universe. White holes are hypothetical cosmic objects with completely different behavior than black holes. While black holes pull matter and light into an incredibly dense center called a singularity, white holes do the opposite. They push out matter and light, preventing anything from entering beyond a boundary known as the event horizon. Imagine having a twin sibling who is your complete opposite. They like what you dislike and dislike what you like. Well, that's kind of how black holes and white holes relate to each other. But before we dive much further into the mind-bending concept of white holes, let's explore black holes a bit more. Black holes are some of the most peculiar and captivating entities in space. They are incredibly dense, with an intense gravitational pull so strong that not even light can escape their clutches. In fact, it is estimated that our Milky Way galaxy could host more than 100 million of these voracious devourers. However, detecting these mysterious entities is a challenging task. Deep within our Milky Way, an awe-inspiring behemoth lurks, the Sagittarius A asterisk. This cosmic titan outweighs our sun by a staggering 4 million times and sits an astounding distance of about 26,000 light-years away from us in the heart of our galactic home. In a momentous feat achieved in 2019, a team of brilliant minds from the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration accomplished something truly groundbreaking. They managed to capture an image that had been an elusive enigma for centuries, the first ever photograph of a black hole. This remarkable achievement unveiled a black hole nestled within the M87 galaxy, an unimaginable 55 million light years away from our tiny blue planet. The scientific community erupted with joy at this extraordinary image, as it served as undeniable proof of Albert Einstein's visionary prediction of black holes in his revolutionary theory of relativity. This was a theory he put forth all the way back in 1916. Back in the day, people didn't even have a name for black holes, until 1967, when an American stargazer, John Wheeler, came up with the term. Before that, it was just an idea floating around in scientific circles. The first real black hole discovered had a cool name, Cygnus X1. This one was hanging out in our Milky Way galaxy in a constellation called Cygnus the Swan. The story goes like this. In 1964, scientists were doing some sky watching with a special rocket that could listen for X-rays coming from space. And very unexpectedly, they stumbled upon mysterious X-ray sources that seemed to be coming from nowhere. It was a head-scratcher. But then, in 1971, some really clever astronomers figured it out. Those X-rays came from a super-bright, blazing blue star dancing around a strange, dark object. This dark object was the black hole. They guessed that the X-rays were caused by the bright star's material getting sucked away by the sneaky black hole. Imagine a vacuum cleaner gobbling up crumbs. Instead, it was a black hole gobbling up stuff from a star. In the vast expanse of space, there are billions and billions of stars twinkling in the night sky. Among them, about one in every thousand stars has the extraordinary ability to transform into something truly mysterious and powerful, a black hole. These cosmic giants have such immense gravitational pull that not even light can escape their grasp. Now let's take a moment to consider our own home, the Milky Way. It's a sprawling galaxy 
and within its boundaries reside over 100 billion stars. Yes, that's 100,000 million stars. Within this stellar population, it is believed that around 100 million black holes quietly lurk, hiding among the vastness of space. Detecting these enigmatic entities is no easy task. Just imagine trying to find a needle in a haystack the size of a galaxy. NASA scientists estimate that there could be anywhere from 10 million to a billion of these stellar black holes within our Milky Way, each one a cosmic enigma waiting to be unraveled. The black hole nearest to Earth, affectionately called the Unicorn, is located around 1,500 light-years away. This black hole got its name for two reasons. Firstly, it resides in the constellation Monoceros. And secondly, it's an extremely rare find because it has a surprisingly low mass, about three times that of the Sun. In 2021, astronomers revealed a stunning new picture of a colossal black hole positioned at the heart of the M87 galaxy. They used a special type of light known as polarized light, which has a different orientation and brightness compared to regular light. By examining the black hole using polarized light, they were able to observe even more intricate details about its structure. Polarized light provides unique insights because it captures how light waves vibrate in specific directions. This allowed scientists to uncover finer intricacies of the black hole's characteristics, such as its magnetic fields and the behavior of matter swirling around it. The image produced using polarized light revealed mesmerizing patterns and patterns of light that helped us understand the black hole's nature in greater depth. Polarization is like a special property of light waves that tells us about magnetic fields. It's kind of like how a compass needle points to the North Pole. It tells us which way the magnetic fields are pointing. Scientists used this special technique to take a new picture of a black hole. And guess what they found? They discovered that the black hole had a magnetic ring around it. Now, black holes are super mysterious and have three layers. Imagine it like a really powerful vacuum cleaner. The outer layer is the event horizon, like a boundary or a point of no return. Once something, like light or objects, crosses this boundary, it gets trapped forever because the black hole's gravity is too strong. Inside the event horizon, there's another layer called the inner event horizon. It's like a deeper part of the black hole that's even harder to escape from. And finally, at the very center of the black hole, there's something called the singularity, which is like the heart of the black hole where all its mass is concentrated. The singularity is like the super dense heart of a black hole, where all its mass is squeezed into an incredibly tiny space. It's like a point in the fabric of space and time where everything gets packed really tightly. Unlike stars and other objects we can directly see in space, we can't actually observe black holes directly. Instead, scientists rely on special ways to detect the radiation given off by matter as it falls into it. It's kind of like seeing the effects of something without seeing the thing itself. Now, when we talk about supermassive black holes that hang out at the centers of galaxies, they can be tricky to spot. They often hide behind a thick cloud of dust and gas, making it hard to detect the radiation they emit. But here's a cool thing that happens sometimes. As matter gets closer to a black hole, it can actually bounce off a special boundary called the event horizon and shoot back outwards. This creates these amazingly powerful jets of material that zoom away from it at incredible speeds. It's like a cosmic slingshot. These jets are so intense that we can see them from far away, even if we can't see the black hole itself. It's like catching a glimpse of the action without actually seeing the main character. Capturing the image of the black hole in M87 required a monumental effort by a collaboration of telescopes spanning multiple observatories worldwide. The data collected was so vast that it couldn't be transferred over the internet and required two years of research to process. Now, let's shift our focus to an intriguing concept called white holes. While black holes pull everything in and nothing can escape from them, white holes are theoretical cosmic regions that work in the opposite way. Just as nothing can enter a black hole, nothing can escape a white hole. In the past, white holes were thought to be purely theoretical, but some scientists now wonder if they could be connected to black holes. 
If you were observing a white hole from far away, it would look quite similar to a black hole. It would have weight, be spinning, and have a circle of dust and gas encircling its edge known as the event horizon. However, unlike black holes where things can only fall in, objects can actually come out of a white hole. In fact, when objects emerge from it, it would be like a big belch happening in the universe. It's as if it is expelling or releasing things that were previously trapped inside it. The white hole, as a cosmic phenomenon, works in reverse compared to a black hole. It's like rewinding a video of a falling ball and witnessing it bounce back up. Similar to this, a white hole has an event horizon, which acts as a limit where nothing can enter. It's like an incredibly exclusive club in the vast expanse of space-time, with a boundary that no spacecraft can ever reach. Inside a white hole, things can actually leave and interact with the surrounding universe. It's like a gateway allowing objects to escape from the white hole and venture into the outside world. However, what's fascinating is that nothing from the universe's past can enter a white hole. It's as if it exists in its own separate timeline, disconnected from events that have already occurred. In 1915, Albert Einstein's groundbreaking discovery, known as Einstein's field equation, caused a scientific revolution in the world of physics. It completely changed our understanding of gravity and revealed a mind-boggling truth about the nature of reality. Instead of thinking of space and time as unchangeable and fixed, Einstein's equations showed that they can actually twist, bend, and fold themselves in response to massive objects like stars and planets. It's as if space and time themselves can be molded and reshaped by the presence of matter. This mind-blowing revelation set off a race among scientists to unravel the secrets of how space reacts to the matter that exists within it. One physicist named Carl Schwarzschild became the pioneer in this race by finding an exact solution to Einstein's equations in just one year. Schwarzschild's calculations revealed a remarkable concept, the idea of a singularity. Picture a point of infinite density, where space wraps tightly, separating itself from the rest of the universe and forming a mysterious no-man's land. It's a place so peculiar and enigmatic that it defies our understanding. This singularity gives birth to what we now know as black holes, regions of space that are incredibly warped. They are like cosmic traps from which nothing, not even light itself, can escape. These black holes possess such immense gravitational pull that they devour everything that comes too close, pulling it into the unknown depths of their mysterious and uncharted territory. In 1960, Martin David Kruskal, a mathematician, expanded on the ideas put forth by Schwarzschild regarding black holes. He introduced a new concept called singularity, although he didn't fully grasp its significance at the time. Little did he know that his work would become incredibly important as black holes gained greater recognition. You see, black holes are fascinating objects described by a theory called general relativity. However, this theory also allows for the existence of theoretical entities known as white holes. The intriguing thing is that while black holes trap and engulf everything around them, white holes would actually release matter and energy. At first, white holes seem to share a similar fate with another fascinating concept called wormholes. Wormholes are theoretical tunnels in space-time that could potentially connect distant locations. Both white holes and wormholes were considered mathematically possible, but thought to be unlikely in reality. However, in recent times, some brilliant physicists have brought back the notion of white holes from the depths of obscurity. Why? Well, they aim to rescue their enigmatic counterparts, black holes, from an unappealing fate. The idea of white holes being connected to black holes could potentially provide a new perspective and understanding of these cosmic phenomena. Since the 1970s, when physicist Stephen Hawking suggested that black holes could slowly disappear and lose energy, scientists have been intrigued by what happens to the information trapped inside them. The laws of physics make it difficult for this information to escape, and it cannot simply be erased. The mystery of how a black hole ultimately meets its end remains unsolved. However, some researchers have put forward an intriguing idea that challenges our conventional understanding of quantum-level stars. Imagine a scenario where a black hole becomes incredibly small, 
defying our usual understanding of its size. At this point, quantum mechanics' strange and unpredictable nature takes over. The black hole goes through a remarkable transformation, turning into something called a white hole. This micro-sized white hole, comparable in size to human hair, doesn't possess the intense gravitational pull of its black hole ancestor. However, it contains a vast interior, concealing all the information the black hole had engulfed during its previous existence. Back in 2006, the NASA SWIFT satellite picked up an immensely intense burst of energy called a gamma-ray burst, or GRB. These bursts are usually linked to exploding stars called supernovae, and they typically fall into two types, short bursts and long bursts. But this particular burst, named GRB 060614, didn't fit neatly into either category. What made it even more astonishing was that it lasted a mind-bogglingly long time, 102 seconds. Gamma-ray bursts are like fireworks in the vastness of space, releasing unimaginable amounts of energy. They are some of the most powerful events in the universe. Scientists study them to unlock the secrets of the cosmos and understand the processes occurring in the furthest reaches of space. The detection of this GRB left researchers puzzled and excited. It defied their expectations and didn't match the characteristics of the bursts they had observed before. It was like discovering a whole new type of celestial firework display. This burst of energy was so intense that it traveled across billions of light years to reach our satellite, indicating the unimaginable distances and scales involved. To put it in perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in one year, about 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. Its position in the sky made this GRB event even more interesting. It happened in an area with only a few stars that could create explosions or long bursts of light. To astronomers and astrophysicists, it seemed like the burst appeared suddenly and then quickly disappeared. Most gamma-ray bursts only last for a short time, between 2 and 30 seconds, so this longer duration was very unusual and caught their attention. After several years, scientists came up with a fascinating idea. GRB 060614 might have been a white hole. While we can't confirm for sure that this GRB was indeed a white hole, current scientific theories struggle to explain what actually took place during that event. NASA scientists are puzzled by this strange and mysterious event. They think that something completely new and unknown caused this mind-boggling occurrence. Even after carefully observing and analyzing data for a long time, they still don't have a definite answer. Since it was first found in 2006, many powerful telescopes, like the Hubble Space Telescope, have closely studied this GRB phenomenon. But no one can confidently say that we have ever witnessed such incredible things in the vast expanse of space. It's like a cosmic puzzle that's challenging our understanding of the universe. Our understanding of how the universe works is still incomplete. We have a theory called general relativity that explains how gravity behaves, but it struggles to explain what happens inside the black and white holes and their mysterious singularities. The immense energy and curving of space inside these holes make general relativity unable to describe what's going on fully. So, we're left with a lot of unanswered questions. To make things even more intriguing, there are ideas in the realm of science fiction that could actually exist. One such idea is the concept of wormholes, often depicted in science fiction as portals that connect distant parts of the universe or even different universes. These hypothetical tunnels through space-time could provide shortcuts for traveling vast cosmic distances. But just like white holes, wormholes are currently purely speculative and require a more complete understanding of physics to confirm their existence. It's mind-boggling to think that what was once considered purely fictional, like black holes themselves, could actually be real. As scientists continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we may uncover more about these enigmatic objects and potentially discover the truth behind white holes, wormholes, and other phenomena that currently reside in the realm of imagination. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, Make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.